I guess it looks like we're back again. Uh, Daniel's playing Efren uh, one more set. Again, it's going to be a race to 100 points. So Daniel seems to be uh, a bit more pumped up. Had a conversation with him when we were standing outside. And he hopes to score at least at least uh, 50 points. It's, there, uh, it's a coin toss. Efren calls heads and uh, looks like Efren won the toss. So Efren's going to break again. So for all the new viewers that are just joining in, again we're playing uh, American Rotation. Amro, you can check out the rules uh, for Amro at American Billiard Club, hosted by uh, Joe Tucker. Vishal, this sucks, man. I said, I'm going to play better this time. He said, yeah, me too. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's all right, Daniel. I'm sure you got this on the next rack. Guy, I'm telling you, man, it, it's just, I've never actually played Efren. I mean, I've practiced with him a few times, just playing around. I've never played him, and it's like a totally different experience, you know? Do you feel that, intimidated? Oh, yeah, really okay. intimidated. Like, I'm, I'm not focused on the game like I want to be. I think we're spending, we're spending more time just watching Efren shoot. Uh, but it's just that he's all... It's when, when you're playing with him in the box, I think it's all business, you know? It's like, hey, you know what? This is business, man. There's no fooling around with effort. Yeah. When you play him, you be playing him for real. All right, here we go. Okay, there you go, Daniel. There's your chance. So, looks like Efren missed a three ball. And uh, he's left Daniel with a pretty easy shot on the three. Again, for all the new viewers, this is American rotation. Call shots, call safe. Five up. Looks like Daniel has a shot on the fly ball. Maybe he will carry him at top of the level. Oh no, he had a clean pocket. about this app that I'm using for the scoring. It's available on the app store. It's called Micro Rotation app. You should keep tab of the scores. It's a tough position on the 8, on 7 to the 8. So with this game, folks, it's, it's not just about making your balls. It's about planning ahead as to what you're going to do next. Safety is a huge component of this game. Saves, I think he's going for the shot. Just left there from the bank on the eight. So now Dan has a choice. Either he wants to take the eight, or he wants to put Evan back on the table. Just call shot, call save. If the opponent is <clears throat> calling a ball and he misses it, 
and he hooks the opponent. Then uh, the opponent has a chance to either shoot the shot or put the opponent back on the table. It looks like uh, Daniel has decided to go for the shot. He's going to go off the rail. He's going to kick it. That was a great shot by Daniel. is kind of combination from the 11 ball and the center. It's not a great shot. It looks like Daniel shooting goalie ball like this right from the end of last game. called the nine ball and he made the nine ball but unfortunately since the fact that he scratched on the shot the ball is quite a bit better. Looks like Efren almost missed that shot, rattled that one in but... This should be good from here. Now what? I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to have fun, whatever it is. That's it. You got a good shot? Oh, my God. Have you seen anything like this? Go from a fly to a trash. Taking the shots for granted. So that's the end of the first rack. The score at the end of the first rack is Efren Reyes 12 points and Daniel Bush 8 points. So now let me tell you guys how to rack in American rotation. All right, 12 8. I got that's 8 a good points. Game. <laughs> Looks like you're shooting really well. Hey, Dan, can I order a water? Thanks, man. So let me tell you guys how to rack in this Unbelievable. game. So the one ball goes in the center. And the 15 goes is a, is a head ball, followed by two and three. And the fourth throw right behind the one ball is a 13 and the 14. All the other balls can be placed anywhere within the rack. Daniel Bush is breaking. And uh, for some reason, they're going for the soft break. Which I'm not sure why. Because you break, the main purpose is to spread the balls out as much as you can. And this is one of the strategies when you play against Efren. Let's go the one ball in the side pocket out of 15. Oh. completely. I thought you were going for the one ball out of the 15. I was, but I hit the whole thing too thick. Guy's amazing, gets every roll. It's ridiculous. So, is there a reason why uh, you're going for the softer break? Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of going on effort. I, I thought about this when I first started playing American Rotation. I thought like the softer break would be easier because you're not spreading the balls so far apart. But, I mean, but try to get an open spread, but not not so far apart from each other. That way you don't have to go up and down the table so much, you know? That's a good strategy to work with. 
Yeah. I'm you know, and then and then after, I mean, that's how I have been breaking American rotation generally. But then after I saw Efren do it twice in a row, I realized that, you know, I'm taking I'm taking a lesson from the master here, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, I can learn a thing or two because I've been breaking them really hard. <laughs> Yeah, I think this. I think the medium break is probably better as long as you spread the balls wide open. You know, I didn't spread the balls open there. Maybe he. Maybe he slug racked me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he did. Maybe you might want to check the rag. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Start. You know, put the intimidation factor on him there. Because uh, the league that I've been playing and all the players have been breaking, just been crushing the balls. I love you just pulling. <laughs> Please, miss. Okay. Has Efren played this game a lot? What's that? Efren new to this game, or do they play that in the Philippines a lot? How about what? Do they play this game in the Philippines a lot? Well, not American rotation. They play like a... I think a game called 61, you know, where you have to get 61 points and okay. each ball is worth the, the numerical value. Is it the same points that we have in American rotation or is it different? No, it's different. I mean, you're going in order, I think, but, but you have to get 61 points. <coughs> so he's got some work cut out for him after the 10th. Hmm. The 11 and the 14 seems to be really tied up, so I'm not quite sure what he's going to do. With that. Yeah, and I'm happy about that because these are the these are the high value balls. You know, they're all worth two points after after you get to 11. Yeah. The 11 ball is worth two, and so are the others. That's the magician for you. Hi, hi, hi. Why should I even second guess him? <laughs> she had a plan all the way. <laughs> He's gonna hook himself. Looks like he overstroked it just no, a bit. I think he got there. So? Uh, looks like he did. No, he overstroked it. Damn it, Jim. Pretty amazing. That's good. 20 point game for reference. Good break. You don't lie, you say you play better. To the end of two games, the score is 32 to 8. Efren's 32 points and Daniel has 8 points. Then again, it's anybody, anybody's game. So now we're, uh, it's rank three and uh, Efren Reyes broke. Looks like he came out dry again. Now he has uh, the ball in hand. Looks like he uh, has a pretty open shot on the two ball. The treble ball is the four and the five. I'm guessing he's going to uh, take the combination shot from the four to the five. The rack, the rack looks pretty spread out. Can okay, take out the early treble balls. It should be out, no problem. Jacked 
up over the seven For all the new viewers that are just joining us right now, we're watching Evan Reyes, the legend, playing Daniel Bush. His American rotation, race to 100 points. Each ball, 1 through 10, is worth 1 point, and 11 through 15 is worth 2 points each. It's called shots, called save. So it looks like Daniel has a shot on the four ball, but uh, the five and the six are in a very uh, precarious situation. I'm not sure how he's going to open the two balls. Oh, I think 14 is going to be the lifesaver for Daniel. They're going to have to fire off the rail. I'm going to 16. Daniel's calling the 14 ball. Oh, no, wait. Had a shot on the 5. Never mind. I know the commentator doesn't really tell him. Well, we'll see if I'm not. Santana has a pretty good uh, He plays well. He should be able to get out from him. All the balls are in the open, very well spread out. There's no problem balls. It's a bit of a... I was in a tough position. I'm not sure the 8 goes past the 12. It's his right corner pocket. He's going the eight ball in the side pocket. That's a great shot from Daniel. So folks, uh, in this game you have to call every shot, to call every single safety. It's a good combination shot from Dan. So now, since he made the 14 ball, I didn't call it. Correct. It's his ball. Anytime you make a ball that you don't call, like you carry it, it doesn't matter how you make the ball, it goes to the opponent. The only, ball, only points you get credited for the ball points that you call shots for. So the end of uh, rag two, score is 43 to 17. Reyes has 43, Daniel has 17.
What's that? Uh, 17 to what? Reyes has uh, 43, you have 17. 43, 17? You keeping score right. Uh, Efren did sneak me in a 20 for the start of this match. 43 to 17. <laughs> this is the start of uh, Rack 4 and Daniel Bush is breaking. Definitely the slug rack. <laughs> I'm checking that rack. <laughs> So Daniel seems to be complaining that Efren's uh, putting up a slug rag. So he's definitely going to check the next time he breaks. He's going to carry him the four off the one ball. It's a good shot. Inside English, come up one rail for the two. Uh, looks like he's hooked himself. I think he's gonna call the 14 in the center pocket. He's gonna carry him the Q roll off the two. Pretty makeable shot, just gonna hit it right. We gotta give much love to Just Poolin in the chat room for his uh, support of POV Pool. And I'm gonna do my damnedest to get 50 points against this guy. You still have a chance. No, Shut up, Vishal. I don't want to hear about these balls over here all tied up because we all know they are right now. Yeah, but when he beats, I'm sure he has a plan set up for all those balls. I got my four balls right here. <laughs> my four points that I'm probably only going to see in this rack. I, well, at least I played a good kick uh, billiard there. You did. So keeping scores when Efren is playing can be a little challenging because sometimes he just parks the ball to such a high pace. So it's, it's a bit challenging to commentate and uh, yeah, keep scores at the same time. But uh, it's like you slow down a little bit. So if I don't do it.
safety. He's calling safety. Hold the line up and freeze him behind the ten ball. I'm working on it just <laughs> pulling. The definitely call safe. What a shot. What a shot. Stephen decided to go three wheels. That was an amazing shot to hit the night. Drag! 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 Now the rule of this game is Daniel called the nine ball. But if you were to make the ten ball or the twelve ball, that ball will be credited to Daniel as well. Any ball that you make after after you contact with your object ball. There we go. That ball is called the point that ball is credited to you. That was a pretty good rack for Daniel. He scored 16 points. That was the highest, uh, highest scoring rack that Daniel's had in the last two games. Ephraim Gray. Yeah. Daniel's fighting back. Remember that shot. So, at the end of uh, <laughs> Michelle. Mr. Michelle. Yeah. So the end of six games, the score is uh, Reyes is 47 points and <clears throat> Daniel has 33 points. Again, it's a race to 100 points. <laughs> That looks like All right, I, I, I'm, I, I'm racking him entirely too tight for this guy. <laughs> so, Ephraim looks like he made the six ball on the break. What's the score? 47 to 33. To what? 33. 47 to 33. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty good. Not enough spinach. Ephraim made the six ball on the break, but uh, the balls are very extremely well spread out. I have no idea. Efren looks determined to uh, win out. The way the balls are spread out, I'm afraid Daniel Bush might not have a chance to come back to the table. That was an amazing game, by the way. It seems like Efren has overstroked oh, come on, baby. the 50-yard line. <laughs> Efren has overstroked the seven ball. He's going for the brush. See, ha half the battle in beating these champions is showing up to play them. That is very true. It's a great opportunity for them. really angry at himself for uh, missing the elbow, ball, but uh, it did land a bit funny. Eee! Much 
Too much juice on the table. Oh, don't scratch. How many times you eat like that? Don't scratch. Three. Three. This game. So Good luck. Good luck. Still rolling the 10, you know, 11. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to make two rails and come back up. Right Score is 62 to 38. 62 to 38. 62 to 38. Huh? 62 to 38. Oh, it's correct. It's correct. It's the second side. Well, it depends. Normally, you can, normally, like the American Rotation League that I'm playing in right now, we have a Wednesday night. Each match, you know. uh, but it depends where each league can have a, can race with the number of points you want. Yeah. Let's go past the tempo. Well, if 
fooled us again. He was trying to get the, get the 13 in the center pocket. That was shot on the four ball. Gonna come back up one rail for the five. This is gonna be a little bit spread for Daniel. He should be able to rack up a few points. taking that shot since Daniel did not call it safe. So the effort going is going for it in the top corner on the right. Where's my Kaluuya shot? Oh, there. Lost my Kamui chalk, yeah. No, 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 I'm good. So we're going to draw back one rail for the leather ball. It's a good shot by Daniel. He's come up a bit short for the leg. He might have to come back up there. He's got to put some juice on the leg. Ooh, he missed Q. He missed Q, but... Safety. <laughs> He still manages to make the ball. It's called the safe. Uh, that is not good enough. That is not a good safe. Did kind of roll up a little bit. It's kind of worked out this way. He scored 17 points in this game and Efren only had 3 points because he took the lead. And the score at the end of the rack is Daniel Bush has 55 points and Efren has 65 points. So difference of 10 points. No, Efren. 
Can, will you get me a black coffee? Yeah. Thank you. I'm okay. So you made the six ball on the break. 50, 55 points? Mm -hmm. What? Dude, he's, uh, he's stalling. He had a couple of good racks. He had like 17, 18. Yeah, he rattled the ball too. Yeah, he rattled he that ball. Points are points. Points are points in this game. And that's the thing, you can run 10 balls and still tie the rack, right? Absolutely, it's anyone's game. The first 10 balls only worth one point, and the last five balls are worth 10 points. Is he going to break this four out right now, the nine ball away from the four? He's going to go up one rail and break the four wall. Oh. Hooked. Looks like he's got hooked. He'll, he'll one rail this in pretty easy. I'm not sure how far he's going to get from the top rail. That's effort for you. Yeah, he's a master. Hello, Mama. Daniel should definitely consider himself lucky. Oh, shit. You don't really see Ephraim missing. I'm just saying, I know it wasn't going here. Daniel came up a little too close to the gate. If he can make the eighth ball, he's a very good champ, so. This is not good. The game is, the balls are really spread out and Efren has a direct shot on the eighth ball. Too close to the eight. Should have uh, used the bridge. That should be a lesson to all you folks out there in pool land. The equipment is provided for a reason. Can we each use a bridge? Chalk, bridges. I'm sure effort's going to be a Brushes, rags, you know, all that good stuff. Got to use them once in a while. Dude, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My man, Dougie Fresh, give me a cup of coffee. <laughs> Liquid love. I should help you. Yeah, I like this game, actually. I've been, I've been playing a lot of American Billiard Rotation. American if Rotation. If you, if you get I've good been, at this I've game. been getting in action with people a lot. You know? Have you? That, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Like, I, I'm not playing the league right now because I can't make a commitment. Correct. Um, but I do enjoy the game, and I and I I would highly recommend it to anybody. It, it makes your game a lot better. So anyone who's trying to like play more eight ball and nine ball should play more American rotation. It's like a nine ball and a ten ball game. Helps your position skills. Helps you slow your stroke down a little bit. Shot by up and come back up for the 11 ball. Just gonna go down one rail for the 12. Oh, 
close to the rail, then I should be able to. Oh, yeah. What's the score? It's gonna be. It's gonna be like 84 now, right? Should be. Uh, 19, so, but, yeah, 84 through 56. 84 to what? 56? What's up, buddy? You guys, you guys talk to Ruben? Yeah, so, yeah we've been talking. The frame and, uh, okay. Everyone yeah. is reaching closer and closer to 100. The, fine, the score right now is Reyes has 84, Daniel has 56. Need 16 more points to uh, close this set. But if Daniel were to get a perfect game, he can get really close to F and score at 84. I think it's very important to break well in this game. You want to spread the balls out as much as possible, you don't want any clusters. Good break. That's a really good break by uh, Daniel. I believe he made two balls on the break. He made the 12 and the 10 ball. Damn. Yeah, he's a, it's a very good layout. Except for the five and six, which is the only treble balls on the table. Everything else is in the open. It's a very good opportunity for Dan to run into reference lead.
the safety of that. So now it's very important that you guys safe. If you're not sure about uh, a lucky roll. If you're not sure about making a ball, call it safe. It's calling the eight ball. It's calling the eight. That was an amazing try by Efren, but uh, he so Daniel. Oh wait, he wasn't calling the ace. He called it safe. Okay, so we had a little confusion. He might miss that. Corner pocket. Okay, so Daniel is calling the five corner pocket. Let's see what he does. Just gonna leave yeah. the shot. We'll work on your game and I'll play you tomorrow. We'll work on your game That was a good shot by Afton. Thank you. Six. Is anybody backing him? Yeah, that's what no, I No, he says his own, right? But I said, you know, we'll play cheap. I thought if we wanted to play, you know, the seven out, then, you know, sure, put up put up ten grand, you know, for the seven out, you know, what I'm saying. Jesus, that's like, uh, yeah. that's cool, right? World. Is this it? Am I, am I a dub? No, you still, uh, you still I'm have still in it? To come back, yes. I, I get to watch him uh, break and uh, yeah, run it and, and play four points or something? How many names? I don't know, we're finding out. So you need three more points, Efren. Huh? Three more points. Three? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's not over yet. It's, it's going to be a challenge, it's not over yet. <laughs> so the score right now at the end of the rack is Daniel Bush, 63, and Efren Reyes has 97 points. And he's breaking right now, so he needs three more points to win this. Win set two. This should be really tough for Efren. Three points. What do I need? Uh, you need uh, 27 points. Oh, really? Yeah. All I gotta do is run this out. And, and the then and then I break the next yeah, game. Absolutely. Oh, all right. You just hope, all you can do is hope that Efren misses the one ball. <laughs> well, he'll definitely get two points here, but he may not get three. That's the thing. Three ball is definitely tied up. So. Well, I won't say it. I don't want to say it's tied up, but. I won't count you out right now. Well, I think uh, this is, it's it's pretty intense. Twenty-seven points. That's pretty good. Compared to the last game, you, you played really well. Well, I mean, I was just getting to know the guy, you know. Sure. 
I'll play him again. He can spot me like six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amber needs the two and the three. That's all he needs is the two and the three. He just needs. He's, he's at a good angle to get shape. Actually, he, he should be. Think he's going right. to go two rails and come back over. Unless he gets some kind of weird roll. That's wow. the weird roll right there. That was an amazing shot. He's gonna him. he's gonna rattle this. He's gonna let me run out, and then I'm just gonna break and run, and and Absolutely. it'll be over. That's it. Hey, you're finished. God said number two. Hey, you're it's finished. The match. <laughs> hey, Everyone stop keep playing, going. man. <laughs> hey, you're all done. Go ahead, Efren, run it out. <laughs> and the final score is 100 to 63. 11 cross corner. <laughs> it's going the I oh, guess the match is still going. It's on the 5 1 the center pocket. What a shot. <laughs> what a shot by Efren. Now he's feeling it. No pressure. Hey. All right, guys, it was uh, had a really good time uh, commentating. I hope you guys had a good time as well. Thank you so much. Text him and see if he wants to play with Bautista. Huh? What's that? Oh, the battery here is going to die? Okay, well, we're okay. It's over, so. All this time, Efren's been stalling on me. Look at this. Nice kick shot on the five ball. Hey, Vishal, let's say goodbye, you know? Let's say goodbye. We want to thank, uh, I definitely want to thank uh, Vishal for commentating here. You've been watching an American billiard rotation uh, exhibition uh, by myself and, well, I don't want to say myself, but with featuring Efren Reyes and myself getting getting steamrolled here. I think you did pretty, don't cut yourself short, you did pretty good in the, in the second set. But uh, it, was a, it was a great pleasure watching Efren play. It's hopefully, was a privilege. Hopefully we'll have a quick, uh, quick word with him. Hey, Efren, thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot, buddy. We got camera right here. Just want to ask you, uh, what, do you think this game is really easy? Do you think it's good? What, what, what about this game do you like? I think this is better for a good player. You know, you, if you got the first break, maybe you got the... Uh, advantage? You, you got advantage because you got the first ball in hand. You make a, you make, a, you know, you make a score already. Yeah. Also, the, no two-way shot, right? No two-way shot because this is the first ball in hand, the first ball in hand. So it's better for a good player. Not, no, not easy to weak player because if you can get out, it's very hard to win. Do you, can you think of any, like if you were to play a long race, like race to 300 points, can you think of anybody that you would really have a hard time playing with 300 points? Yeah, that for 300 points, uh, you know, it's very good so that you can uh, more more hot. When you're playing, you, you get hot. So, uh, and then uh, if you play bad, play bad in the beginning, you might play good at the, at the end. Yeah, exactly. Well, listen, thanks a lot, Efren. I really appreciate it. Uh, you got another 100 coming to you since you beat me two sets in a row. The great Efren Batareas. I want to thank you guys for watching this American Billiard Rotation. Uh, and thanks to Joe Tucker. Check out American Billiard. Is it American? What's the link? <laughs> AmericanBilliardClub.com. Check it out and uh, uh, find out all about your uh, American Billiard Rotation League. So thanks a lot. Take care.